Hi guys, welcome back. So now we are going to discuss about symbols. Okay, so in Kamunda BPMN, we have lot of symbols, right? So maybe let me open a new BPMN file and I can show you. Here you can see lot of symbols, right? In that one of the simple, we'll see all that actually, but let's go one by one, okay? So in this video, we'll try to cover tasks, okay? So again, in the task, we are having lot of uh, tasks are there actually okay but we'll try to cover in this video only two tasks okay if i open this task upon the task if you see that actually we are having totally send task receive task user task manual task business rule task service task and script task this all tasks are there okay so we are going to see in this video just a service task as well as user task okay make sure that we are trying to land the two stuff in this video okay okay first let me go with the service task okay so what is service task okay so when basically you want to execute some business logic in your process okay when the process is executing if you want to do some business logic then we can go with the service task okay let me do some sample okay so this is what i am just creating a service task i am just ending up the flow okay so the file let me save this file as like a i can give like a what is that mm, task uh, planning okay let me just give this name okay so then here in this task we'll give it as a uh, welcome welcome message okay just it will give you the welcome message okay in the log okay welcome task let me give it as a name as welcome task okay okay so if you see here the one of the let me save this actually first of all okay so task learning dot bpm okay that's fine right so it is asking us to give the implementation correct so you can see here lot of ways we can give the implementation i am going to give using the java class okay once i select java class it is asking me to provide the java class must provide a value it is so what we need to do as a next step we need to create a java class for this okay to provide the value here we need to create a java class so here this is one process okay so this is the start step this is the step 2 is uh, service task step 3 is ending the process to execute the step to our service task we need a java class basically okay so for that i'm just going to create a java class for that okay so let me refresh this page i hope you can see here our uh, what is that task planning bpm it is came here okay let me create a package under source main java okay let me create first of all on package com dot tech bus blocks dot workflow dot daily gates okay, sorry workflow dot task okay let me give the package name as task okay so inside that i am going to create a class called uh, welcome welcome task okay welcome task okay this is my class let me finish this okay yeah now so to execute this class at the time of our service okay so service task what we need to do basically we need to implement one of the method called one of the class interface called java delegates okay so that is the stuff we need to do as a first step okay so i am just implements java delegate okay so i need to import this yes okay so and i need to provide the unimplemented class unimplemented methods actually so if you know about interface you know that right so interface will have some unimplemented methods we need to implement that in our classes right so and i need to annotate this classes component or service whatever it may be so as it is a spring boot application we need basically we need to do the annotation so that it will treat this as a bin okay okay fine so here we are not going to do any logic this just, just i'm going to tell that just a welcome message okay okay so welcome to tech bus blocks okay just a welcome message sorry yeah 
that's it okay just a welcome message it has to give okay so yeah let me try to run this application okay okay sorry i need to provide the class path there right so don't right click here and don't take the qualified name okay just go to the class if you see that the green symbol the c it will be show click there right click that copy qualified name and just go here and just paste it okay so it, it will have along with the package okay if you click from here it will take the whole path of your project actually don't do that actually okay so that will not pick up exactly okay so now we are fine with that actually so when the execution is coming in this place it will execute the this class okay so this class we are just having the print line statement okay system order print line statement it has to print here let me run this program and let's see that okay okay so it is running okay so it is giving some error what's let me check that error creating the process engine been parsing the error okay what is that let me save this they saved yeah i saved it i made it here also saved okay let me maybe restart again i don't know okay now it started all right so there may be some like uh, save issue or whatever maybe okay that's fine okay so now let me open browser and let me go to localhost 8080 and i can log in with my credentials okay okay i'm closing let me go to cockpit okay here two process definitions running one is task planning another is leave management that is fine okay now we need to see the task plan okay right okay that's fine now let me go to task list okay now you can see here there is let me clear this logs okay maybe that will be okay it has to print the whatever we are expecting right so welcome to tech first class let me start a process of task planning okay i will just click on start obviously it will get the end okay because no stop is but if you see the log you can see that welcome to tech bus blocks it means that our java code was executed at the time of the execution coming into service task okay so here maybe whatever logic maybe if you want to call some other rest apis or if you want to do some business logic if you want to access some database and if you want to fetch the values all the stuffs whatever you want okay you can do under here okay got it right this is called service task okay then let let's do the second step okay second step second task we'll see that i'm going to create a another task okay that should be what is the next that should be the user task maybe okay so let's see now how user task will looks like and what are the stuffs will be there i'm just giving the name as user task okay so what basically user task means actually see whenever you want to user want to interact that and the user want to approve this or user want to give some uh, inputs okay so that time we need to go for this user task we can design a whenever user is seeing the screen right we can design the screen as well using these forms maybe i can add the field okay if you see here see the maybe i i'm just adding the field as age okay so the uh, the whatever i i can give it as like a string okay the label i can give it as age okay so this also we can do so that whenever the user is entering into this page at the, in the browser right so he can see the field called age and he can give the value input value okay i'm just giving it a long okay so let's see that okay i'm just saving this okay 
so i just modified the existing task so first what it has to do it has to do go for service task it has to execute our business logic right so then again it has to do some user task it, it has to wait for the user approval or user interaction once user submit this this task only it can able to complete the activity complete the execution process okay hope you got it right let's let's deploy this actually so let me deploy this directly okay so task planning okay deployment success succeed let me go to browser and if i go to cockpit and if i go this task planning you can see here this is the second version so early if you see the first version it was only welcome task now the latest version whatever we deployed it so whenever you are doing the deployment right it will create your uh, versions okay newly so the my, my, our latest version is user task this one right this diagram right so maybe if 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 you are keeping old task that will be belongs to the old diagram but if you are going to create a new task means it will belongs to this diagram okay so let me start your process task planning i'm just starting this now you can see here again again it is printing right it printed but now you can see here see it is asking to provide the input for the user right you can if you go to diagram it was in this state right so it is expecting user interaction if you see the service task it is not asking us to do anything but when we are coming to user task it is asking user to give some input or whatever it may be right so let me this is our form actually so let me claim this task if i claim if it is assigned to me then only i can edit this form okay so first i need to claim that then i can give some values maybe i'm just giving as a 20 okay so i can complete it now that's all the task done okay got it right so this is the user task okay thanks for watching so other task will see in the next videos okay thanks bye